going on guys? My name is Doug. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. I'm really glad you guys decided to tune in today because we're going to be reacting to this new track by Lil Dirk, The Voice. Uh, I'm not a huge, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm a huge Dirk fan. Uh, I honestly am not really familiar with his music, so I, it's not like I don't like him or anything like that. He's just not really on my radar. Uh, that is until he participated on that Drake track. Uh, laugh now, cry later, and and he really caught my attention with his feature. And then I realized that I had heard him feature on other tracks before. I just never really had, uh, you know, I guess it just never really registered that that was Little Dirk. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, he caught my attention, and then he immediately, you know, he, he used that that Drake collab and immediately dropped a single, um, basically right after that. So he's he's using that momentum, and I think that's a really smart choice. So uh, I guess. After listening to this, this will really decide whether or not I, uh, I, I continue to really follow his career uh, or not, you know, and, and, and he'll just be one of those artists that I listen to every now and then. You know, I'm excited because uh, I always like finding new artists that I actually genuinely enjoy and want to follow, and I'm really hoping that, that he ends up being one of those because his, his feature on Laugh Now, Cry Later really, really was dope, in my opinion. I actually wish it were longer. Um, but in any case, and I agree with Sean C's take that that track really sounds like it was made for Lil Dirk and the way that he performed it, his vocal register, because he really wasn't afraid to take his vocals a little higher and do the, the verse an octave up. I think that that sounded really great. Anyways, we're not talking about that track. Uh, we're here to listen to the voice and to see what this sounds like, so uh, let's just jump right into it. Ooh, the organ? Wow, look at the production. No, stop it. Come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, stop. Hold on. You can't just do that to me like that. Hold on. The keyboard, super great. Really nice little piano preset there. Like, I like it a lot. And then the organ. Ooh. Now we're in a Baptist church. You know what I mean? Now, now, now we're talking. Now there's soul. Now there's seasoning to this track. But then the guitar and the bass line come in. And it's like... Ah, oh, man, that's special, you know? And the drums drop? I'm gonna listen to that again. Literally taking people to church with that little organ. That was what really got me. I love that, that just little, the little riff. Wow. Man, this production's great. I don't even gotta say anything about that. I'm loving the performance and the lyrics are so go, so dope. Yeah. This is so fire, dude. Yeah. Yo, the bass slides are great. Everything's going right for this track on the instrumentals. Yeah. I love that. That's so dope. That's a great track. And that's going to be on rotation. On rotation. It's going to be in rotation for... Um, Man, you know, I've been heavily listening to uh, the Jaden's new album and uh, and Logic's new album because that, that Fantano interview really got me uh, listening to that album again and again. Um, the Weekends album, I've been listening to that a lot. And, and I'm just going to throw this track in the mix just because this is probably one of my favorite beats, I think. Just off the top of my head, I'm not going too deep and thinking about it heavily, but off the top of my head, one of my favorite beats I've heard uh, this year so far. Just, just everything about it was working so well. The mix was insane. Like the mix was just so great. The 808 slides were dope. He actually had like a, a an actual bass performing as well. The soulful portions of the track, the bass line and the guitar riffs are just great. The organ was so nice. Such a nice little touch. You know, he he really killed it. The chorus and the way that they mixed his vocals uh, to sound kind of like not muffled, but almost like it's surrounding you and, and really a little bit more processed. Uh, it just sounds awesome. His verses are just so nice. Like the lyrics are, are so captivating, so genuine, so real. Um, you can actually like almost feel the pain in his performance. So so it's just like everything about this track was just working. You know, this is a really great song. Uh, Lil Durk taking that momentum from that Drake track and running with it, dude. Very glad to see it. You love to see it. You know, 
I'm gonna be following him much more closely. Now with that said, you know, like needless to say, I'm super impressive feature on a Drake track and then you drop this, yeah, you're headed for incredible things. And I'm gonna be following his, him very, very closely. Uh, so yeah, I love the track, you know, the, the, nothing much more to say other than that. Um, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section. Be sure to support the channel any way that you see fit. The patrons get access to this video uncut, unedited, uh, as well as the other videos. They get access to the personal uh, playlist on Spotify, uh, Discord server, live streams, you know, early videos. I mean, a bunch of new features and, and things like that. So check those links out in the description if you want to become a patron or a member of the channel. And um, <clears throat> be sure to follow my social media as well. I'm trying to get my, my following up on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm being more active on there lately. Uh, talking about the channel and things like that, polls, asking questions. You really want to be a part of it. So uh, be sure to follow me on there. And uh, yeah, my plugs are out of the way. I think the video is over. I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Until then, stay safe, guys. Peace out.